Welcome back on this video tutorial. This is the last one. So uh, the code will be soon available on the blog article things. And we've I've, I've left you because it was downloading all this image, image magic stuff. So I'm going to check right here. If I am here, I'm still at the same place. That's cool. And I think I can use, I'm going to see if, I'm going to use this make file. Uh, to see if my docker is up. Okay, I'm still using the make file and then I can see if I've made a make pull but I've made it manually last time and I'm gonna show you what is make file do. It show me that there's this uh, pocket of image magic that has been downloaded and installed. I can even have the make list queue which give you the ID Okay, as you can see, this is the same ID, it's just a more basic list. And what we're going to do now, we're going to use it. So basically, we were here, and as I say, I'm not using the second solution, which means having using my own distribution of image magic, but I give you the element inside the Docker file so you can you can see, and in the article, I make any comment, whatever. Uh, I think even in the Docker file and even, sorry, even in the uh, make file, you can pull and build. Yeah, you can even launch build and you can, we've made this, the pull thing, okay? And you can build it with image token, you know, and build in your own image. But right now we're gonna be here, okay? So I'm gonna use this solution, okay? So as you can see, I've given, I've prepared I clear my console. I'm sure that, okay, it's working. So basically, he's going to apply and do the resize. Okay, so if I go in my, oops, I should change, sorry, I should have deleted this for a previous example. I redo, there we go. And as you can see, this one has been resized 400. And it was, well, it was more than 1,000, okay? So I can even script this kind of stuff. So I think I have prepared this with the local, okay? Which basically is a way of looping through all the image from the directory that I have, uh, that I have here, okay? That I have here, sorry, sorry, here. Okay, so I will delete this one again, and I will apply this resize so as you can see they're all defined they have few value okay and i can even just show the command so command the, the action in a way and launch so i always give in command uh, it is, so i need to be sure yes i am okay my shell stuff is here so i'm gonna launch this one and i can kind of paste and say okay do so it's just printing for the moment the comment uh, as you can see there's nothing inside and then if i release these things i will leverage uh I, that's exactly the same thing but it's, it's browsing through the older directory and then i can launch it okay so let's do it again and then the destination folder should be full it's coming up as you see boom 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 uh, it's creating the image, it's pretty quick. So basically, what I want to show you, and it's done, okay, and we can be sure that this resize has been correct. So yeah, and resize, yeah, okay, cool. Or even this one, I like this one. This one is small, 600 and something, and here a very big one. Okay, so we're good. Uh, let me explain well. This is just the way you 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 leveraging on Docker. I mean, you don't have really to be a quite expert in development. What is interesting is that there's nothing, there's no more, there's no stickiness with Photoshop and with scripting. You can leverage and share and maintain with the DevOps uh, people um, distribution that enables you to give you the strengths uh, of resizing massively image magic and uh, massively image with uh, with image magic uh, making what we call bulk uh, processing image there can be much more that can be done with image magic for sure if you're a web designer or if you're somebody who's using an expertise in photoshop i'm i'm 
I, I, I know that Photoshop is a tremendous powerful um, uh, software, but um, what I'm thinking is the situation of this lockdown and the fact that sometimes you have to relieve, to relieve some work load from the editorial team and think about that the DevOps orientation and using Docker and leveraging on Magic can help you out. Uh, even though you're not um, you're not a technical, okay? Because it's less expensive, it's shareable, it's maintainable, uh, and for sure you you you're not on your own always, okay? So um, I hope you enjoy this video. I will release the article soon in my website, and the code will be available also on my GitHub account. And thank you for watching and see you then uh, maybe for a next tutorial on some other subject. See you then. Bye-bye.